All right, we're back. It's Rodney, and we're yeah. here with that. It's Godhead. Uh, okay, no. It's that dog. It's we're, amazing. <laughs> we're here with that dog, and the reason I do that is because I can't believe you're in New York City. Yes, we are. You're live in the studios. We're rocking New York. And, and you know, you're always in Los Angeles, and you have to... Well, we live there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but you're always there, and you never come here, and it's... Well, we're here now. It's always about Rodney, and nobody ever cares about me. We care about you. That's why we're here. Thank Rodney you. Rodney thinks I'm a, I'm a boy. Well, yeah, but he likes that. Well, that was a few years that. ago. He likes that, though. We're talking about Rodney. It's um, absolutely Godhead. <laughs> That's what he says. That dog right here, how are you? Tired. Good. good. Nah. We're okay. My first question for you. Ask away. Okay. Your record? Yes. It's like cheap. Isn't that good? How did you do that? Um, we didn't do anything. You didn't do it? They just No, the record label decided to be nice. Hey, record label guy. <laughs> He's here. Why is the record... How, how did the record get so uh, low-priced? Well, buy it. <laughs> oh, that says a lot. There, well, there we go. Well, you know, people don't have a lot of money, and I guess they want to be kind of nice and maybe make it affordable. Which I, th I thought that I'm was the totally coolest thing. I saw country fans walking down the aisles of Tower Records holding our record That's and a, a lie. Of Cheyenne Twain record. Is that true? Because it was so cheap. It makes yeah. it accessible to other people who wouldn't necessarily find it. That's good. That You know, you want to have an accessible audience because, you know, a lot of people, they don't have the cash flow. Exactly. You know what I mean? I, I saw, I swear to God, I was in, um, I was in Tower Records and I was, it was, it was a couple years ago. I was buying your first record when I bought records and uh, the guy, the, the, guy, the cashier <laughs> guy went, he went, I know that guy. I used to go to high school with him. He was talking about you, Tony. Oh says, I used to go to high school with him. He was a weird guy, man. He was into a lot of jazz records and stuff. Uh-huh, Tony. And I was like, oh, cool. So you're in New York City. Yes, we are. And, and you have a, a record out. Yes, and it's we do. cheap. And it's really cheap. So, but um, it's not cheap in quality, you know? No, it's a damn good record. <laughs> Thank you. It's a, <laughs> gosh <laughs> darn it. Slam your fist, It's son. a damn good record. <laughs> Thank you. I like it. Good, thank you. So why don't will you play us uh, the big hit single from the new record? Yes. And then we'll, and then I want to talk to you about um, our little Australian friend Ben Lee. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. This one's called Never Say Never.